I came here to prove that I'm not having sex with my daughter. I just met my daughter a little bit over four months ago. We started talking and the love that, that rushed over me was undescribable. I found that she was having some real bad problems where she was at in Nevada. So I was on a plane that night and was in Reno, Nevada the next morning to get my daughter. I seen her, we embraced and the hug, I just started crying like a baby. It was indescribable. I took her right back to Alaska. I mean, that next day we were on a plane back to Alaska. The girl that I live with now, Karen, she's real jealous of my daughter. The fact that Karen feels that there is sex or whatever going on really just pisses me off. There's rumors going around that you and your father are having sex. So um, his girlfriend, Karen, she, well, she did. She started to get really jealous and every once in a while she would like make little comments. She would say things. She was saying that we were too close, we're too touchy, we're this and that and the other. Well, are you having sex with your father? My dad and I are having sexual relations, yes. What type of uh, sexual contact are you having with your father? Um, my dad and I have gone as far as just like romantic kissing to full on um, oral to everything that you can think of. And when you're in these moments of intimacy with your own father, um, do you not feel like this is wrong? Yes and no. I mean, while we're like in the middle of everything, no. Because like sitting next to my dad or like getting a hug from my dad gives me the biggest butterflies in the world. My mind and my body are telling me that I want my dad, but I know that that's not right. No. And now that you've been doing this for a couple weeks, uh, what does your father feel about this relationship that he's having with you? Um, when we talk about it, he's okay with it. I mean, obviously we both know that it's wrong. But he's not telling anybody about it, right? Yeah, no, he's not. There are rumors going around that you're having some kind of inappropriate relationship with your daughter. Yeah, and that's strictly coming from my fiance. Are you sleeping with your daughter? No. no. Have, come on, really, Steve? That's well, like. Well, you're here to, to refute this, well, right? Well, yeah, for okay. the simple fact. So have you had any kind of sexual contact with no. your daughter? No. No, okay, well, no, not sexual contact. But like my girlfriend says, okay, I'll be sitting on the couch and uh, maybe she'll she sit her down. leg on your hand. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what about she, the kissing on the neck? She'll right? kiss me on the neck. Okay, does that, as a father, make you feel like, hey, hey, what are you well, doing here? At first, no, it, because it, I, it, never, it never clicked, you know, it was... Did you ever kiss your mother on the neck? Yeah. And you don't find that odd at all? I didn't. Are you sexually attracted to no, your daughter? Not at all. Come on, Steve. If you were having some kind of sexual... That'd be... You'd be piling on, right? Oh, yeah, without you'd a doubt. You'd be just as bad the guys that uh, without abused a doubt. her before. Exactly. You'd be just jumping on the pile. Exactly. Do you think Macy has sexual feelings towards you? Well, see, yes, and we discussed that, and I even looked up for... How do you, have to, how do you discuss that with your daughter? Because I looked up GSA, for people that don't know what GSA is. GSA is genetic sexual attraction, and it happens between father's daughters, brother's sisters, People that are separated from birth and then get thrown back into a relationship. when they become adults, right? Right, yeah, when and, they become adults. And do you believe you suffer from this just No, not at all. You believe she does? I think that it was a problem because how, I mean, she... How did it even come up with your daughter? How, do you, how did you say, oh, honey, I think you're sexually attracted to me? Well, because of my girlfriend. Stuff is happening. You can't sit there and deny it. What are you talking about? Oh, what are you talking about? What do you think I'm talking about? Should what we tell everybody about what happened last night? Nothing happened last night. Should we tell everybody about the hotel? Should you we? did throw, what the hell? If How you're are you even lying it, like this? You are denying everything How that we're doing. How are you doing. lying? Oh, I'm what, the one lying. Why are I'm you the lying? lying? What happened at the hotel last night? I'm the one lying. Night? What happened Absolutely at the hotel last nothing. night? Absolutely nothing. What happened Just at the hotel last night? Just dropped me off, I went to sleep. Was we had what are um, you lying oral sex for? and contact and all of the above. You're yes. crazy as hell. What the We're not going to have that father-daughter relationship that I want if you keep denying this. Why are you even tripping like this? Why would she lie about you? I don't know why she's doing this right now. Wouldn't you, if you did something wrong, 
you know, it would be embarrassing for you. And I know it, 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 it's a very difficult thing to admit to say, yeah, we crossed the line in uh, our sexual attraction to each other with our GSA. Um, but you could stop and get help and actually be a father to her that she's never had. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want to okay. argue until you finally say that we uh, have we been have. doing things. We have. We have. And you're okay. lying about it this whole time. You can't run out on her now. What else do you, you want me to do? You said that you were going to be here my whole life. You said that you would be there for me. You don't want to lose me. You don't want anything to go wrong, but you're going to sit here and deny this. I said okay. And then you're just going to say oh, okay. fine. I said okay. We did it. You only we said okay the because lines. I didn't we did. hug you. We crossed the line. Alright, we and, did. And why and, we did. And Gary, I gotta ask you, as a father myself. I have no idea. Oh, come on. I have no you idea. You have no idea no why idea. you had sex with your own daughter. No, none. You said that you were fine with everything that was going on! I said we were gonna work through it. Yeah, work through it by doing it? No. Oh Obviously. See, now this is my fault? No, I'm just saying. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, you, know, you know what, fine. Gary? It is your fault. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It is Steve, your it, fault. It, it, it is your. You're right. Yeah. It is. You're Here's, right. Here, I, it is this my is fault. your daughter. It's your job to protect her, not hurt her. I wasn't trying to. Okay. My grandma, she died in her sleep. She had like a heart attack. So when the autopsy came up and it said that she had alcohol poisoning and cocaine residue in her system, it was a shocking to everybody. The family believed that my aunt Kwanifa had something to do with my grandma's death. My aunt Alisa said my aunt Kwanifa called her and confessed that she gave my grandma cocaine. I love my mother. I didn't do it. Alisa and a couple of other my family members came to my home, basically accusing me of killing my mom, like saying that I gave her drugs when I, and I didn't do it. So I kicked them out of my house. Uh, one of your sisters says that you called her on Mother's Day confessing to her that you had something to do with your mother's death. That is a lie. Yeah. I didn't call her. I don't even talk to her. The only time I would call Alisa is to speak to my nephew. Were you ever drugs. doing cocaine uh, before your mother passed away? No. 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 So you know you have no... I don't do drugs at all. No too. drugs at all. Did you know that your mother had done cocaine? No. Never in her life. No. Were you shocked that, I mean, I looked at the autopsy. Yeah. It says chronic use. Yes. That this is, that this is, wasn't a one-time thing. Yeah. That this is, was ongoing. Yes, it's just. Did oh. it surprise any of your other sisters, Dad? Yes, because my mother never did drugs, so I'm not understanding where it came from. I know it didn't come from me, so I don't know. When you heard that the cause of death from the autopsy report was cocaine and alcohol, what did you think? It was shocking because I never seen my grandma do any type of drugs. It was shocking. I didn't know what right. to think. You were saying that Quinifa called you on Mother's Day and basically confessed that she had something to do with your mother's death. Yes. You're a liar. So why are you lying? Why are you lying? I, 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 I called you in. This, when did I call I'm gonna you? I'm going to make up a whole story. I'm yes. going to make up a when whole did I story. Like why you when did I call you? Though? Why you disappeared then? Why, you know what, Liv? I didn't disappear anywhere. I didn't disappear nowhere. Alisa, do you believe that your sister murdered your mother? I don't think she did it intentionally, but what the results said when my mother on my mother's autopsy, it said she died from excessive drinking and cocaine in her system. So, yes, I believe she was giving my mother something. Yes, I do. I don't think she did it intentionally, but she had something to do with it. It's simple. Quinifa <laughs> did come. She took a lie detector test, and we asked her. Before her death, did you witness your mother using cocaine? She answered no. Did you give your mother cocaine before she died? She answered no. The results to those two questions came back inconclusive, which means we couldn't get a result either positive or negative. So. We can't give you a, a definite answer on those two questions because those results came back inconclusive. Then we went on to ask you, did you make that call to your sister admitting you did something to your mother? Did you make that call to your sister admitting you did something to your mother? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. And you killed her. No, I did not. No, I didn't. 
So after that, we go on to ask you, did you have any involvement in your mother's death? I didn't hurt my mom. You answered no. I didn't hurt my mom. In the year before your mother's death, this is crazy. did you steal any money from her? You answered no. Oh, my God. Were you drugging your mother in drug order my... to steal money from her? I didn't drug my mom. You answered no. The results came back the same to each one of those three questions, and it came back that Quinifa did not tell the truth. I didn't. What? Mm. <laughs> you need to go I, to jail. I did not do nothing to my mother. You need to go to jail. I didn't do nothing to her. I swear to God, I didn't. Like, what is happening? I didn't drug my mom. I didn't do nothing to her. What, what is happening? I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too. Do you wanna tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.